Okay, welcome. So, uh, what I'm doing here is I'm just basically doing this video. Uh, yeah, I'm doing this video in order to, uh, because I was watching a YouTube video where um, a Hebrew Israelite called Daniela, who's from a camp called the Lions of Israel, uh, he was, it was quite a long stream, but there was a point where he said that he was trying to burn, rip a DVD and he said it was taking 16 hours. So, of course, since I've been doing DVDs for, for like years, I know that it's not supposed to take that long. So, obviously, something is a bit wrong with either the program he's using or the setup. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this uh, quick video in order to show how to um, basically rip a DVD in Windows 10. I'm going to do it from the beginning. Um, so, basically, we've got the, you've got the Windows 10 here and so at the moment, when you look in under this PC, see, I don't have any DVDs in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm, because uh, I'll admit this is actually a virtual machine I'm running this in, but I just have a way of like attaching a, a DVD. So I'm just going to do that. So this is the same as if you were going to put a DVD into your into the drive. Right, so that's the virtual DVD has been inserted. So when it comes up, you just got to make a note of what letter it is. So this is drive D. Okay, so now this video might have skipped ahead a bit. Um, because what it is, I just tried to do it with VLC, but it didn't work because I was using a DVD that has chapters on it. So basically, I'm going to try a, a more famous DVD ripping tool, which I've heard about like forever, but I've never used it myself. So, and to get it, basically you go to handbrake dot, dot fr and so make sure you're on 64 bit and then just download that and basically this is like a this is, a, well, you could say it's a Underworld famous um, sort of DVD ripping and conversion tool because it's been around for like years. I've heard of it for like untold time, and I still don't know what the pineapple and the tequila thing is supposed to be for. All right, so let's just run that handbrake to reinstall that, I should say. Right now, the reason why I'm using this over VLC is simply because it um, it gives you the titles on the DVD. So basically, if you run it, because with a DVD, this is the thing you have to be careful of, is someone can put multiple um, titles onto a DVD. Right, so if you select the DVD, and I'm just going to scan through the titles. So I was right, it was eight titles. Right, so basically with a DVD, what you do is you have to check to make sure. So what it's done is it's chosen the longest title, because normally on the DVD, that is the, the one that you're after. So, but if you have, if someone sort of who knows what they're doing has made a DVD with multiple titles, you'll have to actually manually go through and choose each one so i'll show you what i mean right so this dvd is just a pal one so, so yes let's just use your youtube 720p um right so if you just choose the all right so now we just selected the default so now we should be able to just add all Q. And there we have it. 
So it gives the pending job. So uh, what I might do is speed this part up. Um, of course, you only have to do this if you've got multiple titles. But, but like I say, this handbrake looks like it is the Don, basically, and is the one that anyone should use when they want to rip a DVD with multiple titles uh, on it. And, well, I think even if you've got one title, this is still the Don as well, because it's been around so long and so many people use it that it's hardly surprising that it's going to be the one to get the job done the most efficiently. And if you want to see how long it actually takes, if I do speed it up, then you just got to look at the time down here. And so this is actually a full 4 gig DVD. Um, so we'll, let's see if this takes 16 hours to, to encode a full, um, 4.7, well, I think it's 4.6 actually that I put on there. Okay, so that's the, that's the end of that. So basically, that's the um, how you get the different um, chapters out of a DVD. So now let's see if the if the files are actually any good. All right, so here they are. So let's try the first one. Alright, because I'm on the virtual machine, just having a problem with the sound. All 
right so as far as I'm concerned these, these are working but just in case someone might decide that well because what's happening is the sound isn't working properly because I'm in I'm playing it in a virtual machine so I'm just going to test these um, just locally Okay, so are being used to make the components in the factory. Here we have the famous DNA double helix. You can see the two helical strands that are intertwined and wind around each other on the outside of the molecule. This is the material that stores all of our genetic information. In higher light forms, this would be the equivalent of... Right, so as you can see, that's running pretty well and smooth. So basically, yeah, if we want to rip some... DVD files, and you can see the quality is good as well. So if you want to rip them from a um, DVD and convert them to MP4 for uploading to YouTube, then basically Handbrake is is the main. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so Handbrake is the main man. Basically, that's what you should be using. So if you and you don't want it to take 14 hours because as you see it only took about took less than an hour I think so yeah so there you have it so handbrake is the solution and it's been the solution for like quite a few years as well so I'm surprised that some people you know don't even know about it okay thanks for watching and see you in any other videos I managed to do